Boy, it was cold out this morning, wasn't it? Boy, as we get into the the winter months here and here in November of 2021, my goodness, the mornings have been cold. There's been a frost and freeze. I'm so glad that I have a warm hat and warm gloves. Whoa, without these gloves, my hands would have been cold. And and if I would have forgotten these gloves, oh my goodness sakes, what would I have done? I would have had to put my hands in my pockets and, and it would have been hard to get my hands warm. But that's okay, I guess, because you know what? My hands might have been cold, but I have a warm heart. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever hear somebody say cold hands, but a warm heart? Well, why do people say that? Well, the phrase actually cold hands, but a warm heart is a description of someone who does not outwardly show a lot of feelings. But inwardly, we know them to be very kind and loving people. It could be used to describe a person who appears to be a very stern person, perhaps a stern boss or a stern supervisor who comes across that way. But then we find out that that person is actually very caring on the inside. Um, it could be said like this. An example is, I always thought he was aloof before he donated so generously to our cause. I guess he's just one of those cold hands, warm heart people. A person who may not show the his feelings all the time, but that doesn't mean that there's not a, a emotion or feelings there. Just because people don't demonstrate kindness sometimes does not mean that they lack kindness. They just might not know how to show it all the time. For example, we could say this about Don. You know what? Don rarely sends flowers or anything, but he's a case of one of those cold hands, warm heart people. You can't always judge somebody just because of the way they appear. So maybe the saying cold hands, warm heart is a reminder to be less judgmental about our first impressions of people. Now, there is also a medical explanation for this phrase cold hands, warm heart as well. You know that if you play in the snow without gloves on, um, you get cold hands. And that can create some serious circulatory problems with our blood. In fact, the body, in order to protect your vital organs, such as your heart and lungs, your body diverts more blood flow to them and then leaves less blood flow circulating to your hands and feet in cold weather. Therefore, the term cold hands, warm heart could quite literally be true in the medical term. However, Whenever we use this phrase, cold hands, warm heart, or we hear it, let's remember that God does see our hearts. And sometimes he challenges us not to go on our impressions of how we see somebody, but rather to make sure that we're checking out their heart first. First Samuel 16, remember the story of when the prophet Samuel went to find the new king of Israel? And Jesse had all of his sons appear before Samuel, and many of them were tall and handsome. And Samuel was all excited about maybe choosing one of these tall or handsome sons. And then David is called in, and David is the youngest son. And apparently he's not as tall or handsome as these others. And Samuel goes, really, God, you want him to be the king? And this is what God said to Samuel. Do not consider how handsome or tall he is. I have not chosen him. Now he's talking about some of the others. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at what is in the heart. The prophet Jeremiah in chapter 17 reminds us, the Lord says, I look deep down inside human hearts. I see what is in people's minds. I reward each person in keeping with their conduct. I bless them based on what they have done. Oh, Psalm 44, 21 says, God knows the secrets of our hearts. So we want to make sure that we are being people of integrity with our hearts. And also, as we look at other folks, not judging them for maybe not smiling right away at us um, or not appearing to be friendly. Um, maybe there's a reason for that. But what is their heart really like? Um, that's what we need to be checking out. Cold hands, warm heart. Psalm 19, 14 says, Lord, may these words of my mouth please you, and may these thoughts of my heart please you also. My rock and my redeemer you are. Oh, let's be faithful to God. Let's be faithful to our hearts. And even if we don't have a smile on our face, or we see somebody who might not have a smile on their face, let's remember the phrase, cold hands, maybe so, warm heart, let's hope so. 
Have a warm heart kind of day today. Stay warm. Put your hat on and your gloves if it's too cold outside. But above all, have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace.